Now, if we have not done that, who then decides to take our government or our movement after coming from the elections to hand it over almost literally to a party with only 20%? The DA. In Kinga Elap. Let me put it proper in English. That is where the problem is we have with the DA, a party of monopoly capital, a party of our erstwhile oppressors. If you want to know, we can give you history of where they come from, these DA people. The organization, what it is. It's a major, ultimately, from various measures of different right-wing colonial and apartheid parties from the National Party, a, a Progressive a Federal Party, into Democratic Party, now into Democratic Alliance with the National Party, and several others. They are one thing. They represent white interest. They represent colonial interest. They represent imperialism. They don't represent the people of this country. Why on earth, out of this 20%, we think we can't find a setting of government that doesn't involve the Democratic Alliance? Why? Let's ask this question. And we in the Communist Party will continue to ask this question and many other more questions. That's the first point. So, we don't want this marriage with the DA. We think this marriage, comrades, is not only bringing trouble within the relationship we have with the ANC. This marriage is not in the interest of the people of our country. To start with, this marriage, for instance, Um Zwandile was speaking about, even uh, uh, Dr. Masemul was speaking about the Basic Education Laws Amendment Act, the Bella, the Bella Act, that was signed by the president, defied by a minister that he has appointed into office. Who <laughs> president? appoint according to the constitutional powers. It's unacceptable, this. The president must take action against this Kwarube woman. The minister of the DA, because she's not the minister of our republic. She's refusing to be the minister of our republic. She's disdainful, disrespectful. But she takes the attitude of a handless, the DA. Ulalele umamu elenzile magakulu. President Ramaphosa began address a meeting here at FES Foundation, Frederick Ebert Foundation. Yes, a chairman in the foundation, I guess. Utai, umonga mel wabona gutno agagwazu we we tengi salento ye 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 coalition ye DA no ANC. Ufuna amanya ma party so that ati le nala bantu kwa ANC abanga ifuni i DA. Ukuluma ngati ge hiti lava asi ifuni DA. Ena ngere ze Scotland. Abantu be tu basu pega nje ile DA non wankulubayo. Over three and a half centuries of struggle by the same forefathers and foremothers of this group of people. But the worst is that our own comrades, Amazonia Gupi, Maniopana and Epawa Yabantu Ganje, Nanga Consultanga no moon. Why Nanga Bizanga, at least even if it's a public meeting, Nati Senzain? We will never accept this thing, comrades. And we have said to our comrades, you know, 
this, the DA and their, 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 their so-called ministers, by the way, by Atangan, all the time, they, they communicate different from government. I think they even have a PR campaign that is just uh, 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 working on them. Because at the moment, so there's a new state capture, Bell Potinga, the new Bell, Pet Bell, Bell Potinga. Let's I expose that thing, I think I'm a is by the way. At the same time, what we have seen with this thing is that this agenda is going to reverse major gains that we have made as a liberation movement. That's the reason why we are opposed to it. And let me clarify this thing in this meeting because when I'm a comrade, even some of our comrades want to know, but the Communist Party, Kuruma Ganjan, in a band by Abago government of national unit. No. Ugo Tal. Tina Asina Minister, go government. U ANC, Wagwala Log. Satela, go comrade Uzuma. Sati, Sipe, two ministries that we can control. But no. Let's not create problems with the ANC. Let's lead it the old way. But we know these are your members. And we wanted few things. We didn't want very sophisticated things. One of the ministries I can just indicate, we wanted the ministry that deals with arts and culture. We said, give us this one. What? No, 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 no. He didn't even appoint a communist in that position for that matter. From our first engagement when he was going to set up his, his cabinet. So, we're not interested in many things. But this time, the DA even had the guards to put something, what they call this thing, uh, the agreement that they wanted to have. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. Sealed agreement. But we into sealed agreement. This is the agreement the ISO should go to Los Tenez and lead away to a Benega account of the cabinet. Imagine. Imagine that that guards the audacity of the DA. But the issue is that how do our comrades even entertain these things? Tolerate this nonsense. They were saying, no, they want sealed agreement, Borna. Bafunuk operator from that level. So that they can do things as they wish. See, now we don't have a single person accounting to us as the Communist Party. Let them give us one ministry, one province, one district, one municipality. You will see what is transformation and what is change under that sealed agreement that the DA wanted. They are not willing to do that. But at the same time, our comrades are now willing to embrace a party that it's it's a full-blown neoliberal party, a party of the market, a party of austerity. Austerity means budget cuts. That's why Gunga Kasho Abasebens, Abasebens and everywhere else. Even this new minister in education was already threatening to 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 remove to retrench 2,400 workers. I mean, unacceptable behavior. When we should be creating jobs, we don't even have enough teachers for that matter in this country. But they think that the private sector will provide. That's the crisis of neoliberalism. So it is in this regard, comrade, that we have rejected this question of the neoliberal class forces represented by the likes of the DA and others that they coordinate, as well as forces that in their intention, are not aiming at the interests of the National Democratic Revolution. This question, comrade, this, this matter is going to affect how we are going to implement many of our programs. On the Bella Bill, for instance, this is further postponed because not only did this minister, uh, Kwarube from the DA, because they call themselves that, we thought the minister is a minister of state, not only did she not go to the signing ceremony, that is why we will fight against these racist right-wing forces and the neoliberal forces as well as their collaborators. But you know, one thing that also irritates me is that 
We then allow these forces like the DA's Helen Zile to start interfering in the affairs of the alliance, to start interfering in the affairs of the ANC, insult our comrades, call on the president to take action against so and so. Manja Soktua, tati decision against Upanyaza. Upanyaza Lisuf. Why should Panyaza be punished because of the instructions of the DA? We want to say as the SACP, we are monitoring this, this matter very, very intently and carefully. They touch that comrade on the basis of instructions from the DA. We will never yeah. accept this thing that our comrades must be threatened by parties that are not the ANC. We don't even threaten our comrades in government. But why? What audacity that the DA has? So, the DA, we must say to Helen Zile, focus on the DA matters, leave the alliance alone. The ANC is not your business, it's our business. We are members of the ANC in our own right. Now, if our leaders are opening the gaps and space for her to come in and create divisions, we will never accept that. And, we, you know, I see some tweets going around. The other day, I listened to Comrade Panyaza on 702 claiming, no, I don't want to be anything. I don't want to be president. Why do we have to pressurize a comrade to go to that extent? Because we allow counter-revolutionary forces to bring a wedge inside our movement. He doesn't have to declare that if members of the ANC elect him in his own right, so be it. What's the problem with that? It's an internal democratic process. Why does he have to put a disclaimer? Because we are threatening him, we allow counter-revolutionary forces to threaten our comrades. We will never accept this thing as a Communist Party comrades. It doesn't matter who is leading. We will never allow this tendency to get rooted inside our movement, to be controlled by reactionary forces like the DA. This is what actually worsens the situation. So I don't want to see our comrades fighting, feeling this way. I mean, you are not even sure whether your leaders are going to be with you or not. No. ANC must respect its own internal processes. Because if ANC doesn't respect these processes, they also affect all of us inside the alliance.